What's going on guys, it's your average consumer, and yes, you read the title right. I got some hands-on time with the Galaxy S9 and S9 Plus, and here are my thoughts. But before we talk about all the new changes, you know you gotta subscribe to the channel because I'm gonna be giving away an S9 and an S9 Plus, so you gotta be subscribed and look out for future videos where I'm gonna be giving one away. Now, first things first, this is what the phones will look like. Like previous models, the S9 is gonna be coming in with a 5.8 inch display, and the S9 Plus is coming in at 6.2 inches long. And of course, we've got that beautiful infinity display with vibrant colors, thanks to that super AMOLED display. Now the phone's gonna be coming in in three colors, midnight black, lilac purple, and coral blue. There's also gonna be this gray option available, but that's outside of the US. Now, while they look pretty similar to last year's model, there are a few physical changes, like the fingerprint scanner that's now under the camera instead of to the right of it, as well as some more discreet sensors in front of the phone. And probably most exciting in terms of physical changes, we finally have stereo speakers on the Galaxy line, and I had a little time to play with it, and they sounded pretty good. They're tuned by AKG and have Dolby Atmos. So if you're watching some content tuned for Dolby Atmos, you're gonna be getting a nice surround sound feeling right from the phone. And from what I can tell, they sounded pretty good, but I can't wait to get this in-house and really put it through its paces to see if it's anywhere close to the Razer phone. That one has really good speakers. But outside of that, that's pretty much where the physical changes stop. I know a lot of people are gonna be disappointed by that, but I'm sure Samsung's thinking, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So you still got your phone with an infinity display, power button on the right side, volume buttons on the left side, as well as that Bixby button. You've also got USB type C to charge it. And guys, it still has the headphone jack. So kudos to Samsung for coming out with a brand new flagship device in 2018 with a headphone jack. A dying breed, but I'm glad Samsung's sticking to its guns. And I know some of you are probably a bit disappointed that there were no huge physical upgrades. There were some nice upgrades in terms of the camera and the software. Now for me personally, a good camera is a big deal. The S9 has a 12 megapixel camera with an eight megapixel front facing camera. And the S9 Plus has dual cameras with a wide angle and telephoto lens, both at 12 megapixels. And also with a front facing camera at eight megapixels pretty much the same as last year's models. And it looks like Samsung's taking the camera really seriously on the S9 and S9 Plus by having a pretty strong focus in low light photography as well as video. The main wide angle shooter on both the S9 and S9 Plus will have an aperture of f2.4, but during low light, it'll automatically detect how much light it needs and it can open up to 1.5, which is actually really nice. But if you take your photography really seriously, you can jump into the pro mode and change the aperture yourself with the press of a button. And what's actually pretty cool is that you can physically see the aperture open up on the lens whenever you access this feature. They also put a real focus on slow motion, giving us 240 frames per second at 1080p and a mind blowing 960 frames at 720p. And for my everyday folks who are hearing these numbers and wondering what they even mean, basically something that happens in a split second, if you're shooting at 960 frames per second, you're going to be able to capture that. So something that typically happens in a flash, you'll be able to draw that out and actually see it happen. Try not to mind my ugly face here, but that's exactly what I'm talking about. And sometimes these things happen before you even realize and hit the record button, but there's some pretty intelligent software here that'll detect the motion, capture it before you're even ready, so you've got it captured before you miss the moment. But of course, I'm gonna have to test this out in a real day in the life, let you guys know how practical and how useful it is, so stay tuned for that. And Samsung's really taken advantage of AI and AR here to add some really cool features to the phones. The first being this new feature called AR Emoji. You can pretty much create an animated emoji with your face. The camera takes a picture of you and you can customize it like add glasses, change its hair color, hairstyle, and even its skin complexion, which is really awesome. And one of the limitations that we saw was the offerings in hairstyles. Ari was a little bit disappointed that she couldn't find something that represented her big natural hair. But we spoke to some of the Samsung reps and this is of course software, so more things will be added in the future. And Ari was actually able to take advantage of one of these cool new features where she was able to try on different makeup right from the camera app and any of the makeup styles that she liked. She was actually able to go in using Bixby and pull up where it's from like Sephora and I think some other makeup spot. 
but she was actually able to go ahead, see something that she liked and find it directly online with the press of a button. Another pretty cool thing that they demonstrated was actually Bixby translations. Uh, Bixby has the ability to write from the camera app, see something that's in a completely different language and translate it in real time using augmented reality. So this is pretty cool for signs if you're in another country or maybe you're looking at a document or you just need something in front of you translated, it can do that in real time. And you can even select the language that it translates it to, which I think is actually really cool. And while Samsung's always had the iris scanner, they also introduced facial recognition and they even have a feature where they combine the two and they call it intelligent scan. And I tried out the facial recognition and thankfully it's pretty fast. But honestly, these are all things that I really want to test out in the real day in the life. So you got to stay tuned for that video. But if you're interested in picking one up, pre-orders are going to be opening on March 2nd. So definitely mark your calendars. And on March 16th, they're going to be available in stores. But that about wraps it up for this video, guys. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. But till the next one, it's your average consumer. Peace. So much more S9 coverage to come.